Hey guys, welcome back to Hollow Knight, part 63. It's been too long, man, and I know, and I'm sorry. But after the events of the last episode, I... I needed some time, okay? Because this, like, oh, I, just, I don't even want to look at it, man. Oh, my heart. But we have some things to do besides deal with the heartbreak from that bullshit. Uh, the first thing I need to do is, is buy some of these charms or whatever. Oh, it pains me, man. I hate hearing Zote's fucking stupid voice, man. His disgusting, awful voice. So what is, uh, the fragile strength? Let's go see if we can get this. Man, I'm just so sick of Zote. I want him dead. I will never forgive him for that shit. <laughs> that charm! Beautiful! Most precious thing! Little lovely! Will you let me see it? Have to show it to me! Yep, I'll do it. Oh, charm lost. Wow. What a fucking troll you guys are. You just made me lose a charm. <laughs> Such a little beauty! Such a smell! Such a smell! <laughs> what? what? She ate it! What the fuck? I am not doing the right voice for her at all, but I don't give a fuck. Ah, so good! So tasty! A perfect, perfect thing! Just for me! Ah. <laughs> uh, get, what? You ate my shit! That's a fucking dick move, man. Shadow and fire will dance together so prettily, I think. What do you mean? Beautiful! Delicious! Nah. You're good, little lovely. You're very sweet to bring me such a gift. Oh. The one who made my gift. Ah, somewhere below, yes. Very good gift. Very tasty. Delicious. What? I've already crossed. Do you want something, little lovely? You don't want to take my gift back, do you? Rawr. So nasty. So cruel, if that's true. Once you give something as a gift, it's lost to you forever. <laughs> Why am I doing this voice? <laughs> so stupid. A gift for you. So greedy. But I can show you something if you're nice to me. Little lovely, will you do a nice thing, lovely? Give them to me, your Geo. Give me your Geo, and I'll give you a gift. What? You take my charm, and then you're gonna take my Geo, man? I just lost my girl. Why is everybody taking shit from me, man? This is bullshit. <gasps> yeah, oh, so much Geo, dude. But I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna be doing with Geo anymore, so I guess. Yeah, sure. Fucking take it. Fifteen fucking thousand. That's a lot of pennies, man. Oh, don't shit it out. No, come on. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, no. What is going on, man? This game. This game has just been ripping my heart out. And now this girl literally shits on me. Oh, so fucking weird. I hate your little tail butthole thing. Unbreakable strength. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. That's Mel! Oh, you're hiding something very nice from me, aren't you? Shouldn't hide something so nice. Show me! Show me! Put it on! Quickly! I'm not gonna put on a dildo and fuck this little weird butthole you got, okay? Or a strap on, I guess. That's just too fucking weird. Thanks for the unbreakable strength, I guess. Where the fuck is- I'd have to put it on. What in the f- Grandpa, can you explain any of this to me? Why are these things happening to me? God damn it. So, uh, unbreakable strength. Strengthens the bearer, increasing the damage they deal to enemies with their nail. This charm is unbreakable. Yes. Now I am powerful and can defeat Zote even ho more hardcore. I don't know, man. Like, that's all I want in this world is to fuck the shit out of Zote's face with my nail. And then fuck the shit out of Bretta's face with my dick. And if any of those things can't happen, I'm going to be very upset. Simply put, I'm coming for you, Zoe, you fucking piece of shit. Oh my god. Oh, I just want to beat your ass. Ugh. 
and I'm gonna eat your ass. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I decided that this video, this entire rest of this video, however long it goes on for, is dedicated to the piece of shit Zotes little precincts or whatever, precepts. I think a precinct's like a police thing or something. <laughs> Precept 5. Strength beats strength. Is your opponent strong? No matter. Simply overcome their strength with even more strength, and they'll soon be defeated. Alright, here we go. Five and going on to six. Precept six. Choose your own fate. Our elders teach that our fate is chosen for us before we are even born. I disagree. Alright, on to seven. Precept seven. Mourn not the dead. When we die, do things get better for us or worse? There's no way to tell, so we shouldn't bother mourning. Or celebrating for that matter. Alright, you guys ready for eight? Just kidding, I'm not gonna fucking do them all. Maybe sometime. Maybe I'll just do like three per episode or something crazy, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. All I know is I wanna beat the shit out of that- Oh my god, I hate him so much! I'm so infuriated. My heart will never be the same. I can't blame Bretta though. It's, it's it's wrong to blame a victim, you know? And she's clearly a victim of Zote and his fucking bullshit, lying, backstabbing ass, okay? I can't blame that beautiful woman, Bretta. As much as I want to, the pain in my heart. I just can't, man. Uh, anyways, I need to go here. And I want to try something. I'm very curious about this particular thing. Let me sit on my bench. Let me put on Hive Blood. How much does it cost? I mean, it costs like four, yeah. Let me just take these two off right now. No, not that. This. And Hive Blood. There we go. Ooh! It makes it look fancy. I like that. What a, what a fucking trip, man. Getting my girl stolen from me by the biggest piece of shit in the goddamn kingdom and I had to take a little bit of a break from that bullshit man don't hit the blubber butts we've been through this they don't deserve it they're nice okay they're friendly yep oh, never mind <laughs> I lied uh yeah go down here but no, I really hate not playing for as long as I do sometimes but I'm also like trying to slightly uh wait Oh wait, it's already- No, don't attack him! I should've taken off fucking Grimchild. Shouldn't have I. Is that a word even? Shouldn't have I? Is that how you say things? Is that how you use words? Lord knows. But, yeah. Uh, I'm really trying to... Hold on to this game as long as I fucking can, man. And... I also don't know exactly what to do right now. As I'm trying to hold off on some things. Like, you know. Hi, buddy. No, don't attack. Damn it. So this does seem to work, though. You guys said if I put on Hive Blood, they'd be my friends just like the Mantises, but Grimchild's really fucking me over right now in this regard. So let me hurry up and take Grimchild off. I feel like a dick. They're doing nothing to me. I actually like being here now. Don't attack, don't attack. No, no, come on. You fucking dickhead. All right, Grimchild, be gone. You're, you're causing too much pain and issues right now. So yeah, I think this is the setup I'm gonna go with. It's a little funky, because I'm getting charmed up. I just wanna have high blood on, and then the uh, the movement charms. I haven't had them on for a bit. This is my, you know, navigation setup. And then just having Spore Shroom on, just in case I come across something that needs that. Grimchild just had to go. Oh yeah. Wait, no, 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 Grimchild! I still have it on right yet. Like, Grimchild fucked me. Now he's pissed. Please, no. Oh, God. Maybe that'll reset him. Hey, buddies. Yay, we're friendly. Okay, it worked. Thank God. Hi. We're friendly, right? Yep. What do you gotta say? Please don't hurt me. Humming from where? Do you not know? Okay, so they can't hurt me. That's great. Awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, okay, nice. I like it. I can, like, dream nail these bitches now. No problem at all. Hey, buddy. Can you come on, like, equal footing with me so I can do this? Protect the queen. See, yeah, you're just, you're just doing your, your duty. Why do we ever have to be enemies, huh? 
keep away. We should never be enemies. Let's all be friends here, huh? How about that? What if I go to... I don't even remember where. I have so many friends now. Just like the mantises. There's no need for any of us to fight. We're all bugs, okay? We're all just trying to make it in this crazy world. Let me try to dream nail this bad boy. Destroy. No, don't destroy. Love. How about that? That's a lot better. No! Why'd that hurt me? Did I? Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh my god! Jeez, dude. That was nuts. You got anything to say? Okay, you're not gonna mention the fact I'm wearing your... your hive blood. But whatever, it's fine. So don't fucking dash, like do the crystal dash. That ends up hurting the, the poor bee. And then he comes and fucks your ass from a million miles away. So anyways, we needed to... Get out of here, first of all. But we need to find our way... To... Paint Master... Shio, or Xiao, or however you say his name. As you guys told me, there's a nice little thing there. I don't know what it is exactly, but I have a feeling... It has something to do... With... Something I'm very, very concerned about. So, let's go check it out. Let's not do that, though. That would be preferable. I haven't even inserted a tram pass here yet. Am I stupid? I guess I am. I don't know. How does the high blood work? So I can get hit once and it will recover that one, like, I guess, mask thing. Even though now it's like a honey thing. <laughs> Is that how that works? Uh, let's see. Yes. I don't actually know where I'm going. Where am I trying to go again? <laughs> I'm gonna go to Green Path, I think. Yeah, we can go further, because then we can get to Deep Nest and go up from there, I think. Hopefully, at least. I don't know how to navigate this world. I'm pretty stupid. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I apologize for not uploading as frequently. You know, there was a time that I had an entire Hollow Knight week. And that was a brilliant week. And I loved that week. And it's very sad to me that I'm so far along in this game now. God damn it, you little penis pincher. But I'm so far into this game now that like I, I don't have enough, I guess, stuff to do in the game. That I can just upload it like three times a week or something like that. Or even like a full week, which is what I wish I could do. Because I just, I don't want it to be over yet, man. Like, uh, I'm not ready for that. There's more things to do, of course, and there's more to do after I'm done. But it's just, I'm really trying to hold on to it as long as I can. And I, and I still need to figure out some of the things I need to do. So if you guys want to let me know, I appreciate that. You guys kind of already have done that. You told me some things to do, of course, and you do it every episode. But yeah, I just need enough to, like, actually really fully figure out what to do each episode trying to hold off to episode 69 to go to the tower of love because <laughs> i still think that'd be hilarious if i if i can't make that happen then it is what it is but there's enough content to you know make it happen make it be episode 69 like my dream is for it to to go that way then that'd be fucking amazing so just let me know about that wow i fucking that sucks Anyways, uh, yeah, let me know. So I would love for that to be the case. Um, again, just let me know if that's not possible. I'll just go do that as soon as possible then. And I won't do it for 69. It's not feasible. But I really hope it's feasible. But yeah, I'm just trying to hold on to this game as long as I can, man. I know, like... God damn it. I know there's more to do. I know there's stuff I can do after I, you know, actually full-on beat the game and 112% it and all that. But we don't know when Silk Song's coming out. I don't think. I don't think anybody knows if it ever even fucking does come out, which uh, one of you guys told me that they are in fact still working on it, so that's really good. You know, it's not like lost into the void or anything, but I'm sure a lot of you that have been waiting for so long probably like worried that it's never coming out. 
You know, I have just recently joined the, uh, the hype train, of course, and I'd be very sad if it doesn't come out. But it seems like they are still working on it, so that's good. I'm sure they had some issues with the whole Unity bullcrap. I think it was uh, Unity, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully they didn't get screwed over too bad by that. What the fuck, you psycho? What the fuck? You just... Oh, it's a guy. I forgot about those. Oh, man, I hate being in fucking deep nest. Damn it. What am I doing? You did it again. You psycho. But yeah. Oh, my God. I do need to be able to actually beat the game before Silk Song comes out. But, you know, hopefully that doesn't end up happening. Like, I'm just... Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go to the left. Yo, I'm so lost. No, I need to go down to the left. What am I doing? I'm very stupid. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just... I'm just very stupid. Yeah, obviously I need to beat this game before Silk Song comes out. I'd love to play that day one. I never play games day one, basically. I think Turnip Boy Robs a Bank is the only game I've ever been able to do that with. <laughs> I'm always five plus years late to the party. But it's just kind of my thing, I guess. You know, making up for lost time of all these games I've missed out on over the years. I also just want to take it as slow as I possibly can so I don't have to say goodbye to it yet. Because it's just meant too much to me. And I don't want to go like a whole long while without you guys, you know? As much as I would love for you guys to like join me on some other games, I don't blame you at all because... You only have so much time to watch things and, and things to do with your time, and I can expect you to spend more time on me than what you already do, which is like amazing. And I'm very lucky and blessed that you watch the Hollow Knight videos. So like, that's just kind of my my thing. It's like a fear of beating the game almost, especially after she's after part 60, which made me very emotional. Obviously, if you watch that. That, like, <laughs> if I am completely done with the game... Oh, my God. As I'm getting my butt beat by these fuckers. Oh, my... Dude. Let me heal back up. But yeah, if I actually, like, full-on 112% the game and there's, like, nothing left to do and I, like, live stream the live streams that I want to do and all that stuff and there's just nothing more and I still have to wait, like, a year for Silk Song. I don't know. I just feel like I'd be very sad. Like, I wouldn't be able to control... My emotions, like I can't control this. Why can't I just, oh my God. <laughs> 63 parts in and I'm still the worst player of all time. And that is <laughs> so bad. So I think I can make my way up here. Go this little shortcut way or whatever. Uh, I'm so bad. And I'm just so lost too. I ramble way too much, man. Too much on my brain at all times. Thank you guys for enduring it all the time. You guys are champs. I don't know why you do, but I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like if I had to go too long without you brilliant people and, you know, Hollow Knight as a whole, I just, I don't know. I feel, I feel sad. So I guess there is like a bit of the anxiety and, and sort of like sad thoughts of like, if I, if I beat this, I can't keep playing it for you guys. Like, I don't want to like just re-upload the entire game or something like that, playing it over again or something like that. You know, Steel Soul was a good live stream type thing. I wouldn't make a series out of it though, I don't think, because it would just be a lot of like restarting back to episode one type of thing. And then uh, the only thing I can think of otherwise is like mods, but I haven't really looked into those yet, so I don't know how much there is for that or if it's worth doing a series on. I'm sure you guys will let me know. What? Dick! I'm just trying to jump over you. You guys will tell me your favorite mods, I'm sure, and I'd love to do some of those. But basically, I'm just trying to not run out of stuff to do on Hollow Knight because I'm an emotional ball of emotions, which is redundant, but it makes sense in a way to me. And I don't want to say goodbye to this game. So that's why some of the episodes take longer to come out 
Because I'm just trying to take it nice and slow. But if you guys want me to fucking pump out like seven in a week again, like a Hollow Knight week again, I'll do it. I'll do whatever you guys want me to. Because this is why I love this game so much more than just what the game is. It's because of you guys. Like, that's why I love it so much. It's an amazing, incredible, perfect game, but you guys have made it so much more fun and amazing. I want to make you guys happy too. And I feel bad if you guys are like sad I don't post it for a bit sometimes. But nonetheless, we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't remember which way Shio or Shao or however you say his name is. I'm gonna try up here first and then I'll try down there. But yeah, I just, man, I just love this game so fucking much. It makes me emotional how much I love it. So it's definitely not Lake Avon, actually. I think it's down below. Maybe. Or is it to the right somewhere? God, I don't remember. I'm just gonna go to the left down here. But yeah, this game just, I don't know, it means the whole fucking world to me. And as much as I miss, like, playing it, uploading it, I even miss, like, editing it, man. Editing can be such a chore, but, like, I love editing Hollow Knight. I love everything about it. It's so enjoyable. But there's just, yeah, there's something about it that I just don't want to say goodbye yet. And I don't know how much I have left. I'm at, like, what, 94% or something like that? Uh, forgot about this whole part. Damn it, it! Fuck you. As soon as I get a second, I'll check. Oh, I barely made that one. Let me see. Ah, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Do more of the Hunter's Journal, too. A 94%, yeah. There we go. But yeah. I don't know how much I have left. I don't know what 94% means, like, how much time I have left in this game, but... Obviously, we're getting close. We're getting close to 100%, of course, and then 112 after that, so... And here we are. I think this is it. So, what awaits us in here? Hey! Um... Oh! <gasps> yes! Yes! He's alive! Fuck yeah! Okay, what are you gonna say? Oh, look who's joined us. We have quite a merry crowd now, don't we? This fellow came wandering into my hut, quite distraught and on his own quest for a new calling in life. We talked and found a common love of creating and building and honing a craft. So now we make art together. It's good to have company. I hadn't realized how lonely I was. It's like being with my brothers again. Stay with us if you like. Hell yeah. This is so cute. You guys are awesome. That charm. Only the great Nail Sage could have given that to you. Seeing how strong you've become, it almost makes me want to take up my nail once more. But no, I should stay on my current path and keep working at my art. If the great Nail Sage ever comes by, I want to show him how far I've come. Oh, I love this. I have spare brushes and plenty of paint. Once you tire of the nail, feel free to join me in my art. Hell yeah, I will. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm sorry I didn't give you what you wanted, but I think you're happier now for sure. Seems like you're enjoying yourself. Ah, Runjo Stenya. Oh, the Runjo Stenya is still here, baby. Hmm. Oh, hello, traveler. How strange that we should meet again in a world as vast as this. I must thank you for not killing me when I asked you to. I was irritated at first, but I had some time to think up there, and I soon saw the wisdom in your decision. You're welcome, dude. I'm glad you could realize that. It's almost weird to hear you say, I must thank you for not killing me when I asked you to. <laughs> but like, hell yeah. The world is made of more than metal and weapons. I set out exploring and soon found my way here. Shio is a master of many arts and has promised to teach me what he can. I think I'll be quite happy here. Happy couple? Are they a couple? Hell yeah! Yeah! Love, baby! I love the love! Fuck yeah! Dude, this made me so happy! Ah, Ronjo Stenja. I'm afraid I can't speak at length. If I move too much, Shio's masterwork will be ruined, and I'd hate to see him upset. Ah. Oh. Though he may seem imposing, in truth, he's a delicate sort. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that, man. In all the dark of Hollow Nest, 
Who'd have thought I'd meet such an inspiring soul? Oh, they're so perfect for each other. That's so sweet. You have anything else to say? Huh? God, you guys are perfect. An age spent toiling alone. This is much nicer. Oh, my heart. Oh, all the pain from, from Bretta, man. It, it's just been completely washed away with all the warm, caring love that I feel right here between the Nail Master Shio, or the Paint Master Shio, and then the lovely Nailsmith. It's so beautiful, man. Love's, love's real, man. Love, love can happen. Love, love is love. I love it, man. That makes me happy. This is so sweet. I don't even want to leave here. I just want to hang out with these guys forever. God. I just, where can I, can I sit on the bench? Can I just, can I sit here and just enjoy this? After the heartbreak that was the last episode, coming into this one and, and finding that there's true love in this world. It, it, it exists. It, it can happen, man. You just gotta be like Paint Master Shio and the Nailsmith. You just gotta, you gotta find that true love. It's beautiful. It's beautiful stuff, man. Love has no bounds. Doesn't matter race, gender, sexuality, anything. Love is love, baby. Just like I love Bretta. Oh god. No, I can't go into the under the bad stuff. I gotta gotta stay in the good stuff. The good moment. The moment of love. That makes me so happy though, that he's not dead. And not only is he not dead, but he's found new life. He doesn't want to die anymore. What a fucking nice twist from just the, the heartache of the last episode of just thinking he died and committed suicide. Of Bretta, you know, Bretta and Zoe showing that there is no love in this fucking world. But there is. We, 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 we can see it. We see it in, in real time between Shio and the Nailsmith. It's so, so beautiful. Run Joe Stenya. Run Joe Stenya, baby. Oh, I'm a fucking lunatic. Uh, I just rambled so much. I don't know what to do. I just missed this game. I want to record more, like, immediately. I, just, I need to know what to do. Ah! Uh -huh. I, I need to be able to fucking play this game more just without losing it in a few episodes, pretty much, because I just know there's not that much left. Uh... Anyways, let me know what to do, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you guys always dealing with my rambly ass, being all over the place, not uploading for a week. Like, uh, I, I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. That one will be a lot sooner than what this one was from the last one. I hope, at least, because I do love this game so much. And it hurts me when I don't upload it for a week or, or more, however long it was. Just, uh just when I hit that episode 60 and I, and I beat the vessel, you know, the, the Hollow Knight, it just felt like I'm too close, man. Too close to the end. I need to hold on to it. Uh, I don't know if you guys like fully understand what I'm saying, but I hope you do. And uh, fuck. Anyways, go out there, show love to the world and the people around you, just like Shio and the Nailsmith. Okay. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching if you did. And if you didn't, you're never going to find true love like Shio and the Nailsmith.